Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Today in this quick tutorial you will learn how to adjust the Roto Bezier's tension. This can come in handy for not only rotoscoping but also for shape layer animation. So let's jump in and show you how to use it. Okay, so today's lesson is intended to be a quick tip, so I'm going to move rather fast. It goes on the assumption that you already know a little bit about the Roto Bezier option uh, that lives up here. All right, so let's say you have this shoe that you need to roto out and you need to get all these, these colors um, and shapes off of them. You know, you just need to make a clean shoe. Um, so the Roto Bezier tool, as you go along and you plot, it's gonna make curves based on the distance um, of each point, right? And uh, this is not a roto, uh, <laughs> it's not a roto lesson, so uh, forgive my roto skills here. Um, so when we come through and we start plotting and, oops, come through, start plotting, and we come to this triangle and all of a sudden we see that our curve is, is too, it's too much here. You know, we need it to be a sharp curve. So come around, make another one. Oh man, it's, you know, it's just too sharp. Um, so this is a problem, um, but I still really want to use Roto Bezier because it's, it's really good for rotoscoping um, and it, it makes my life easier in the long run. So what I need to do is I need to make this be less of a curve. Well, you, the good news is, is you can do that here in, uh, with the Roto Bezier tool. So it's actually really simple. So just hover over the point that you want, hold Alt, and when you hold Alt, you'll see you're going to get this, this arrows that are going in either direction. Okay, so, so come here and click on it and drag in. You're going to see now that you can, you can make it to where it's adjusting the tension. So if you drag all the way to the left, there's zero tension. Drag all the way to the right, there's full tension. Um, and you also notice down here, if you look over here when I drag in the info window, you're going to see that it's going to show me my tension. So you see as I drag to the left, oh, I guess it says uh, roto tension is 100 when it's actually uh, straight. I would think it would be the opposite, but uh, and then this is zero. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, what I would do now is I would just come through here and I would adjust the tension where I needed to, adjust my points, and move on from there. Um, and you don't need to go full 100% for everything. You know, sometimes you just need to go a little bit. Sometimes you need to go more than others. So I hope this one was helpful and I will see you on the next one.